Honey Boy Ginger and how are you? We will meet Fatma again. Our science lesson today is about eleven things or not, non living things. There are two different kinds of things in the world. One kind is called living things. Living things eat, breathe, grow, move, reproduce and have senses. The other kind is called non living things. And non living things don't eat, don't breathe, or grow or move and not reproduce. An example of a living thing in the world is a dog. A dog is an animal and dogs need food, water, space and shelter. The dog is a like a living thing. Or maybe a tree or a flower. Plant and trees and flower need air, nutrients, water and sunlight. A flower and tree are also living things. Plants are living things. They need air, nutrients, water, and sunlight, as I said. A dog reproduced. Reproduced means to make one of its own kind. Means to make one of its own kind. And also his senses. His senses mean that he can see or hear, smell, taste, and feel. Other living things include people, cats, rabbits, bugs, lions, and many others. There are many different kinds of plants too. Plants can include dandelions, gra grass, corn, tomatoes, and much more. Non-living things include things that don't need food, eat, or reproduce, uh, reproduce or free. Like a car, maybe. A car doesn't eat to grow. It doesn't move unless a person is driving it. Here, there are some non-living things, but it helps living things, like water. It helps plants and people to live. The same for the air, the light from the sunlight. So these are things, they are non-living things, but it helps some living things to love. Guys, I want you to think about it. Whenever you um, want to know the difference between uh, living and unliving, if you want to uh, decide it is uh, one of the living or non-living thing, you need to think about it first. Like, you need to know and ask yourself, does it eat, does it drink, does it breathe, does it grow? You need to think about all of this. So, in order to differentiate between living and non-living things, you need to know the characteristics of living things. Like living things move. Animals have different ways of moving. The same for plants. Reproduce. Animals lay eggs or have their babies. Plants make seeds that can grow into new plants or grow new plants for planting and also respond to stimuli and take on nutrients as I mentioned this grow, respire, secrete waste, plants and animals both get rid of excess gas and water this is advanced for you but what I want you to know to uh, differentiate between living and non-living things to ask yourself does it move? Does it grow? Does it eat, breathe, or produce? Okay. Here's another last for you. For living things like people, birds, ants, dogs, cats, lions, trees, flowers, mouse. Non living things like your desk, your chair, clock, bridge, house, pencil, or a bag, or shoe. And here they end of our video. Hope to see you next time. Bye.